Hi guys, my name is Stefan and this is the Turing Test. It's a game that doesn't show the name on the main menu screen, which I find weird after so many games that do that. It does however say fan, so I'm very pleased to see that. Let's get into this. This is a... Sci-fi. <laughs> Some kind of sci-fi puzzle something. I don't know it very well, but we are about to find out. The, uh, there was a Steam thing that said that this game would be received a lot better in a world without Portal and the Talos principle already in it, whatever that means. Uh, I don't have a lot more to say, so I wish this game would load faster. Am I really gonna have to edit this out? Oh dear, no. No! Uh, 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 uh. My headphone cable is stuck. Alright, let's see. Guess we're waking up. In space! Can I do anything? No. Morning, Eva. Your wake-up has been sanctioned by the ISA. So, first things first, where are my subtitles? Why are they disa- what the fuck? Oh, I forgot to apply my settings, I think. I was supposed to set all of this on medium. Because I don't think I can record... And yeah, there's an apply button here. Cool! I was gonna set them on medium because... I think it might be better with my rig and the recording software running. Okay, let's get back to this. We lost contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago. 450. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting it's any responses. 20 days. That's 450, that's like... We need you to investigate. What, 19 okay, days? doesn't it make 18? sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface, post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. Okay, that key jumps. X. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello. Space and there's a planet down there. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's a fan in space. Okay. Ava Turing, cryogenic awakening 2250, May 13th. 2250, we're 200 years in the future. Sarah Brook, Mikhail Tokarev. Chris McLean. I think I could probably set the textures a little bit. Let's just put the textures on ultra, I think. Does that do anything? User error, that's a weird name for a guy. So it doesn't actually help me a lot. Okay, anyway, let's just... The game seems to be running fine so far. 404 not found. Okay, that's. Oh, I could. I could. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna be very. I don't know what to do. Crew lobby. Okay. Mugs. This. Uh, <laughs> okay. Cool. And by the way, playing with a controller, if you haven't noticed yet. There's no preference. Not really based on... Pick up your EMT. It's on the side. This one? Is this... No. Who? What? Energy manipulation tool. Okay, yeah, where is it? On the side, which side? Here, this side. Okay. We are going to take a lander to Europa. Make your way to the docking station. Do I need a suit? 
I mean, there's a space. Okay, fine, that's good. Dorm Dutch OS. Beats Windows. Office, docking bay hatch. Okay. Wow, there's actually a hatch here. Oh, let's hatch out. Down the ladder. But, uh, oh, it closes. Oh, hi. We are not going back. What's the ship's status? I have performed the necessary checks. The Europa lander is ready to launch. That's a space engine. The space blinds on the space window. Uh, 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 uh. Bay three. <laughs> okay. That's by the way. By the way, I have to just. I just have to say one thing. Look at this. Okay, let's. Where we, we came from here. Look at this. When we come to this room, this is beautifully designed. Red, 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 green. And ta da the player goes right here. That's a, just a beautiful bit of level design right there. It's, uh, it's about telling... Player knows instantly where to go. Okay. Retro. Go. Fido. Go. Guidance. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. Okay. Then we are go, go. for launch initiating. Zephyr. Alright. Guess we're leaving that ship behind. Shit. Ashiyama Engaging Industries. retro fire. Ashiyama Industries. I'm running the program. 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. Ashiyama Industries. The directory looks good. Provided that keyboard there for us. 502 alarm. It looks like we're coming in too fast. We are slightly short of the landing site. We are going to have to burn late. I don't understand any of this. Full retrograde. Uh, also, luckily, I'm not controlling this part. Europa, so that's uh, one of the moons of Jupiter, I think. I don't, I don't remember, it could be Saturn or something else. Or Mars. No, it's not Mars, I don't think. Okay, whatever. The music is just kind of fantastic right now as well. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm almost giddy at how cool the sci-fi thing is right now. Guess we're supposed to go in here. See what we see, find what we find. All right, loading. We found a loading screen. This is what got them. The ground crew succumbed to the attack of the loading screens. That. Is a most unfortunate fate. They were good men and women. Taken in their prime by the blind cruelty of nature's loading screens. I don't I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. Just waiting for this to be over. Come on. Okay. 
Oh, there's a new cross here. And we have a gun. Should we shoot? Maybe the no. base has changed. What do you mean? The base was originally constructed as modules to withstand the seismic activity in and around Thera Magula. It appears the ground team have manipulated these modules. Oh. First puzzle done. What are these? Sort of scanners? The base was built initially by machines. I served as the mind of these operations. I arrived first on Europa in 2240. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support, especially such a vast distance from Earth. So, robotics built this place. Oh, that's what the gun does. I wonder why the ground team has changed these rooms. I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. Turing tests? Turing tests are tests designed to tell humans and machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. A combination of logical and lateral thinking. So, you can't complete these tests, Tom? No. That is why I am glad you are here to help. We need to work together. I'm solving puzzles without explaining myself while they're dialoguing there. But I think that's pretty straightforward so far. I don't have to explain myself to you guys. They really have completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So, what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. But they have converted them beyond recognition. Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. Oh, hello, there's a camera right there. Yeah, it's very portal right now. Except without the portals, but... Other than that... What's in there? Boxes. Okay. Pretty easy so far. I like to leave... Uh, do you know the ground team's oh, location? The crew are deeper inside the base, it seems. They must be trying to survive. Can you find their precise location? I'm afraid not. I am working to regain control. Though I once had complete control of this base, a lot has changed in the past 500 hours. Yeah, I have to say I like the elevator rooms in Portal a lot better than I like those uh, tunnels with the... If I steal this... I can go... Fire it through here, but then I can't get there myself. Well, that's a bit of a bit of a problem. Hold on, let me see, let me see, let me see. That's... That's not a stealable one, no. I'm gonna take that back and I put it here for now. Okay, a puzzle. Okay, that's not. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Wait, hold up. Can I, uh, Well, how do we do this then? Like, is there a way to... Okay, well, yeah, this, this is my jump, I guess, so... Not very much, not very good. If I, if I take this away now, then that's... Okay, that's also not good. Fuck. And that's, yeah, that's immediately. OK, 
Can I do it? Aha! Uh -huh. So yeah, either one works, I guess. Put that one on there. Then I can go here. Now I can shoot that one from there. And yeah. Okay, that's good to know. So if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. Oh. Perhaps we can't solve this yet. Yeah, you think? Ha. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think we're doing that yet. So, let's see. Okay, this one needs what the fuck is that thing? Oh, it's a magnet. Oh, fuck. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Is there another one somewhere? I don't see another one. Oh, hello. Can I steal it from there? Yes. This doesn't add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons. With a Turing test built to keep computers out, then I'm probably fucking their shit up by bringing this computer with me. Don't you think? Okay, let's see. That's a shootable. And in here, there's. Can I put this? Can I put this here? Oh wait, hold up. That's a window, isn't it? I just I have a feeling here that I uh Yeah, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and we are gonna put that up. Then we can take this out, put it over here. Go inside here, and then we can shoot that and put it here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. My instance has just been updated. Uh, sorry? I have two instances of my mind. Two separate versions. Oh. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. I continue to learn on the satellite and I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflicts. Can I reach that? No, I can't. Shit. Can I shoot it anywhere else? No. Okay. I, ultimately, I need to get it in here, I think. Fuck. Okay, what's the other one? Let's see. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Shoot that there. Push that one down. Now we can. Thank you. We can put it here for now. We are going to push this one up. We go on this side and we can get this one. We can shoot it there. Then we can take that one, shoot it there, and that's the door open. That was cool. Okay, this is 
Wait, what happens if I... Okay, yeah, I get it. Alright, and then shoot it here. No, I need to, I need to get it back first. Oh wow, that was a... Something. Frame skip. Something. Okay. Planetarium. Cool. Going to the planetarium. This is the command center. You can check on the crew status from here. Ashiyama Industries. Okay. That's here. How do I... Wait, what? I'm pressing X, but it doesn't do anything. Why won't it do anything? Huh. Europa Jovicentric Orbit, so yeah, it is a Jupiter's moon. That's what I thought. The surface is tidally locked to it. Okay. The signal's lost. That's a great feature, just being able to do that to the... Oh wow, this is even better! <laughs> Stack of papers. Toast it now, it's what is this? Digital audio broadcasting, it's a digital radio of some sort. So... Set. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Hey, yeah, does that do something? Huh. Did that button actually do something here? Oh, it says it's that thing. Cool. Not helpful, but cool. Microscope, okay. Tom, start recording. I am always recording, Daniel. The day is January the 6th. My watch says it's 2.30 <laughs> on Earth. Here we are, members of the human race, standing on Jupiter's moon Europa. I am Captain Daniel McLean. I'm joined here by the rest of my team. It is our intention to make this moon our home and investigate life on this planet. Man's curiosity and appetite for discovery will continue to change our world for the better. Inspiring. And might I add my congratulations to you all. Here it is. Beautiful, isn't it? What makes this one... Actually, I'm gonna just... Uh, go ahead and put the music down a little bit. Here it is. Beautiful, isn't it? What makes this one more remarkable than the others? The way it attaches itself to other organisms. Its behavior is very abnormal. It seems to form a symbiotic relationship with most life forms. How do you mean? Do you want me to dumb it down? I know what it means. What does it do? It attaches itself to almost anything living, but it's not parasitic. It's quite alien. We're trying to figure out what effect it has on life forms. Mikhail, you seem distant. Do I? Yes. What's wrong? What's wrong, Mikhail? Mikhail, what's wrong? Are you listening, Mikhail? Are you able to hear? I was talking to the ISA. They don't know what to do with this. The magnitude of the discovery. We should send samples back to Earth. I think we need to get this to a better lab. Me and Sochi are having trouble making enough clones. I'm going to run out of the necessary resources to continue studying Organism 119. They're calling for a grounding of all Europa transport until they get your report. Seriously? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's rather drastic. Okay, so they found something. 
It's weird that there's no subtitles for that that part though. Subtitles are enabled. And also the voices were a bit hard to hear at times, that's a not great. Yeah, they found something and they at least one of them thought that they should notify Earth. Okay, that's cool. I'm supposed to go some oh there's a door open here. Actually let's uh let's save the game wait. Okay, I don't know where this game auto let's see if I can find an Okay, this is probably an auto save point. I just got the chapter one achievement, so yeah, I was looking for a place to save the game. I think this is a good place to stop for, to stop the first video at least. This seems interesting. It's not like, uh, it's, well, I have to, I guess I have to sort of compare it to Portal, and it's not like sort of instantly great as Portal was, I think. Like there's a, like it is really cool, but it's not like so, so uh, uh, how do I say this? It's not quite as impeccably polished as Portal is. It's definitely interesting. I am interested in seeing what they discovered, and I'm interested to see the the uh, inevitable conclusion that I am fucking everything up by bringing this computer with me through these uh, computer impossible puzzles, apparently. So yeah, I'm just waiting for the loading screen to end so I can close the game. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys here. Until next time, I hope you do all have a fantastic day.